Hello, everybody, and welcome to Task Force Unlikely, episode 27, Masquerade, and also a Task Force Unlikely Sassy and Classy crossover. Gasp. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> um, last time on Task Force Unlikely, um, the party was invited to a uh, fancy masquerade ball at the Anteos estate to which they um, happily accepted the invitation uh, proceeded to get their fancy uh, dress and um, masks and uh, prepare for the party they were visited by Lou who perhaps is no longer a friend after she tried to charm Navira. Uh, and asked uh, some pointed questions. Uh, she apologized. That apology was not taken, and she was told to get off their porch. <laughs> um, then they proceeded to go to the Anteos party, um, where um, Navira and Gail uh, schmoozed with some fancy nobles and then proceeded to uh, dance uh, the dance in quotes being Navira's contribution uh, <laughs> on the dance floor, uh, while Ka and Tarbeck um, watched uh, excitedly and proudly, uh, and then they talked to Narshinda very briefly. On uh, Task Force Unlikely episode 26.5, Sassy and Classy, uh, Sassy and Classy <laughs> received an <laughs> invitation to the same party uh, and proceeded to uh, shop for almost an entire episode. Go watch it when you can. It's, a, it's, it's over an hour of shopping. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. We could fill two hours, and we did. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it has we a great new... that two hours. Yes. It has a great new NPC whom I liked a lot. Um... And Let's check it out for that alone. Hmm? Gildemir. Gildemir. The day, the day manager. manager. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, then they went to the party where they proceeded to uh, own the dance floor, uh, dance lap, charming uh, three individuals, a noble named... Uh, Doth Cromore. Yes, Doth Cromore. I was going to say Conan Cro villain name. Conan villain. <laughs> Doth Cromore. Uh, Doth Cromore, who's from the Musicians Guild. Mm -hmm. Um, a a bartender who ignored one of the Beckys <laughs> to give to pay attention to dance lab, and uh, the raccoon art critic who is also at this party. Uh, and Stay that's and that's where we will pick up this episode. <laughs> Uh, obviously, Daniel is not with us, so let me first say that, um, I have it written down, where is it? Uh, so I'll be playing Tarbeck. Uh, Tarbeck is deep in his cups of the good shit, and it's mm. really bringing out the dwarvish, so, uh, Ka, it's a lot of, ah, oh, hi, kinda, just that's it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Akai and Akno. It's, it's all he said for like a while, just kind of pointing at people, nodding. He's He's got all his faculties, as far as you can tell. He's just, that's all he can say anymore. <laughs> okay, well, Ka's going to kind of clear the table, roll her divination mat out on it, put the tray on it, empty her wine glass, Put a couple silver in it, leave it on the table, and just sit there. Okay. Tell some fortunes with the tip jar. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, a... A handsome older gentleman approaches... Hold on, let me get my hat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a oh, headphones don't quite stay on. I have to hold them it's like a I'm a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> um, DJ wizard up in the house. On the ones and twos. 
I love this episode. <laughs> I cast Tensor Floating Disc. Um, so. <laughs> Tensor Floating Disc Jockey. There we go. <laughs> Um, so a, a, a handsome older wizard, uh, with a big curly white mustache and a thick white beard, uh, wearing this hat, uh, blue robes and a, um, a mask that has stars all over it. Um, in addition to some magic runes. And as you're looking at the mask, the stars and the runes kind of slowly swirl around it. And, um... He walks up to you and he puts down a gold into your your jar and he kind of gestures at you. He throws some bones. How's the next half hour look for this person? Uh, for this person? Uh, great. Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Outlook good? Um, he... He nods and he pulls out a, um, a blue pipe and lights it, and he's just immediately surrounded in a cloud of blue smoke. He's just kind of puffing away on it, and he nods at you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, shortly, a waiter comes up to him. Uh, taps him on the shoulder and tells him, you, you can't smoke that in here. <laughs> kind of rolls his eyes and waves his hand over it and the smoke disappears and he kind of waves his hand and press the digitates all the smoke away and he looks at you and he says, oh, new money. And he tucks it in his coat, nods at you, <laughs> groans as he stands up the table, uh, kind of puts his hand out and his staff kind of drags itself across the dance floor. He picks it up, nods, tips his hat, and walks walks away. <laughs> Some more Gail's, like, business sense is pinging. <laughs> She's on a card. <laughs> oh, yeah, has a stack of business cards next to her. She doesn't know where they came from. She assumes Gale just mm -hmm. put them there at some point. Just hands them out. <laughs> Take a card. Um. Yeah. Uh. Gale and Navira, we last saw you two on the dance floor. What are you doing now? Navira is is uh, following Gail's lead at this point. I mean, she doesn't know what she is supposed to be doing here. This is a hundred percent not her scene, and she doesn't really care. So, whatever Gail's doing, Navira is following along. I think Gail would still sort of be trying to move around the dance floor, hand uh, like sort of dancing and trying to like hand out business cards at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And anyone that tries to like wheedle their way out of a conversation with Liz suddenly finds or with Gail suddenly finds Navira <laughs> right behind them. <laughs> immediately, immediately pinned in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a card, I suppose. <laughs> now where to go where there's a six foot beef leg behind you. <laughs> oh my. I said not right now. I'll take three. Yes, absolutely. I have friends. <laughs> I'll hand out the rest of them for you if you'd like. <laughs> Just don't hurt me. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going much easier than it usually does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what. Okay. Uh, and Dan Slap and Vianti, what are you two doing? Present. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe I was chatting up uh, the bartender. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I run a bar, and it seems like you're just kind of like party for hire or whatever. But like, if you're looking for a more steady gig, you know, you can just come and see us at the uh, Kissed Coin. I I have a card. I slide it across, and I kind of keep my fingers on it. It's my only one though, so like, no, that's <laughs> oh. that's mine. But like, you can see the address on it <laughs> right there. 
<laughs> so just cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he'll he'll note it and he'll kind of yeah look look at you and be like, "That'd be great." Yeah, this this gig's week to week, and that that can be hard sometimes, you know. But tell me more about you. Ah, uh, this old thing. Uh, do you have a name, handsome half elf bartender? Uh, yeah, it's Druithin. <laughs> it's not okay. Yep. That's your name. He'll say, he'll say, my parents couldn't decide it's half elvish, half human. (laughs) Yeah, boy, I know. I know about names, bud. I know about names. Um, Yeah, so no, I'm just trying to milk the most of my hour of enchantment here. Mm -hmm. uh, And keeping my eye on if anyone's announcing Earl and Lady Sandwich uh, coming in. Okay. Uh, for what are they? The Eroises? I wrote it down. I didn't. Antios. There it is. Antios. Yeah, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but so kind of looking over my shoulder every once in a while, but absolutely feigning interest in his jokes, telling him enough about me to kind of keep him enchanted. And actually, I really do need a bartender. And yeah, Becky's would throw coins at him. They already tried. And I stole him. <laughs> One of them is still waiting for a drink. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Yeah, I strategically ignore her. (laughs) I've got good bar eyes. I can just... Like blinders. Yeah, what's peripheral vision? In this hair, in this mask? No. (laughs) Uh, And have it so that uh, my wine never gets halfway done. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. He is, as he is charmed by you... Attentive to to your wine needs, I, I do I I do develop just enough peripheral vision to trank. Where where is Vianti? Last I I left. I charged Vianti with doing a Vianti thing because mm-hmm. I felt he was doing a sad because he does he didn't dance very well. <laughs> yeah, he's he's mulling over doing a Vianti thing while he's looking out on the crowd trying to see if there's anything that he can do a Vianti thing on. <laughs> or off of. Or in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what what are your criteria for, for, for this? That's what he's contemplating. He's not sure. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Kind of waiting for something this is a big do. question for Vianti. Don't yeah. rush him. <laughs> uh, okay. You think... <laughs> Sad, sad snake boy is just sitting in a corner. I'm sure the shawl going more and more off the shoulders. It just naturally does that. It's so slippery. Yeah, if I do see that go on too long, I'll join, but we can bounce two back or forth to that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Ka, um, the young woman who Gail and Navira was talking to the beginning of the party, the one with the sun the and the moon mask <laughs> comes over to you and says, oh my god, Z- this is amazing right now. This is, I, I have to scry this. And she takes out a little device and kind of holds it so that it can see both of you. And she's like, this is so authentic. And she kind of taps it and it floats in midair. And she says, oh my gosh, please do me. Please do me. And she takes out a couple silver and puts them into your into your little bowl. Oh, I mean, money is money. So, like, what's the next half hour look for her? But, like, this is, like, a very obviously unenthused. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whoa. And you can, you can just see her passed out in a bush in half an hour. <laughs> Cannot predict now. <laughs> the future man. Who can say? Who knows? Blessed be my bistra. Just thank you so much. And kind of gets a little handsy. I understand. She walks over to the bar and kind of rudely interrupts you, dance lap. Uh, one, please. Thank you. 
<clears throat> the bartender Excuse you, I'm sure. rolls his eyes and gives her something. Uh, and then she stomps away. <laughs> um, yeah. Joyce. Joyce, that's it. <laughs> Joyce. I'm that, Gail. That's Gail. You're Gail. That's Gail. <laughs> um, uh, anybody else want to do anything specific before the next thing happens? Uh, no, I will, um, as my action, I will disengage from my charming, handsome bartender to go cheer up my snake friend. Okay. But I am content to be halfway there to all the way there when the next thing happens. Okay. I just want to be strategically closer to okay. my snake friend. Um. So about, yeah, about then when you're you're starting to walk, um, a... a butler appears at the top of the staircase uh and um he seems to uh like um uh, tap his tie and it amplifies his voice and he says i'm dreadfully sorry but lord and lady antios are not feeling well they will not be joining the main party this evening but they invite all of you their honored guests to stay Drink, eat, and be merry. And the party kind of intermittent, like, like through various groups are kind of like, oh, that's sad. And yeah, we get to play a party still. <laughs> and who the hell are they? I've never met them anyway. <laughs> uh, so the reaction is mixed. It mostly seems like, oh, well, that's sad. They're sick, especially among the higher nobility, their friends kind of thing. Yeah, does uh, Doth Cromor react in any one way or the other? Uh, looking around, you do not currently see him uh, around. Damn, being this short. <laughs> <laughs> On a whim, how does our next half hour look? Uh, whoa. <laughs> oh, like, whoa, what yeah. fun? Like, or... W-O-A-H. <laughs> yeah, like the Joey Lawrence, whoa. That's typically oh. not how things go for us. <laughs> that can go a lot of ways. <clears throat> so uh, Carl's going to try to get um, Gail and Navir's attention then, just kind of pull him toward the table. Okay. Navira is immediately suspicious at this announcement and was already, like, uh, edging towards Ka, Um while also still trying to remain in the vicinity of Gail. So when Ka motions her over, she's like, Sums up. Okay. Kyle's yeah. just gonna kind of like look at the divination tray. Look back up to Navira. Outlook not so good. Yeah, I figured as much. You may rely on it. Oh no. Say <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Again later. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. So, look, I don't exactly trust the nobility of Waterdeep. I'd say I trust them as far as I can throw them, but given the physique of most of them, I could probably throw them far. Let's just say I don't trust them. Anyway, it seems awfully suspicious that we would be invited to this grandiose party and then suddenly they're just not going to show up. Also, sick is a rather vague condition. <laughs> what, I mean... do, what do you want the butler to say? <laughs> they are exploding out of both ends, everybody. I would not go up there. <laughs> well, that's what they do down in the hells. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no business is private, man. <laughs> Lord and Lady Antios have the dumps, but bad. They've moved on to hot snakes, everyone. <laughs> Enjoy the dip. Anyway, just have an old fashioned. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't trust situations like this. Though I guess that wouldn't be a surprise to any of you. 
I guess not, but I mean, I can always go up and check. I am sort of sneaky. Hmm. As tempting as that is, I don't think breaking into the private quarters of the nobility would get us on anyone's good side. And considering how many people we've already pissed off, I don't want to expand that list. I mean, Chances aren't good. I mean, how many people have we really pissed off? <laughs> Just like a couple of gods and. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. I don't know. These guys are arch demons, yeah. red wizards. Gods. <laughs> These the entire people... nation of red wizards. <laughs> These people Orcus. seem <laughs> small fry compared to those. I'm on Gale's side. <laughs> Actual Orcus. I mean, I can just like turn invisible and nobody has to know I'm there. Just an option. Just saying. Unless you guys have a different option, a uh, different idea. I mean, we'll keep it in mind in case it's necessary, but I also don't want to put us in any unnecessary danger right now. Especially with the um, outlook not so good, as Ka put it. Okay. Do you have any other ideas you want to do right now? Stick together. Be on the lookout. Punch first, ask questions later. Sounds like a plan. And Gail will like, flip up like more a business card and but since you guys don't have anything new, I'm going to go back to work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Dance Lab and Vianti. Uh, after the announcement, I presume Dance Lab continues moving over to Vianti. Yeah, it just, it's a sea of legs out here. <laughs> uh, climb up onto a chair. Wine. Um... You hear that, Bianti? Yeah, it seems our hosts aren't going to be joining us. Yeah, well, there goes our best networking opportunity. Well, our richest. The yeah. room's full of it. That's true. Are you... Uh, hmm? oh, sorry. Are, are, are you okay? Yeah, just, I don't know, just thinking real hard about what you said. I'm trying to make a, a Vianti decision. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, yep. I'm stuck between feeling bad for you and not wanting you to know I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, well, hey, you'll, you'll get there. Um that's hard to kind of tell who's delicious in all these masks, but, um... Yeah. It's really throwing me off. And they're also covered. <laughs> like, besides the masks, the, like the rest of their bodies are very covered also. Oh, my poor sweet snake man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, I get it. Well, I... Do you want to try and dance again, or do you want to... I, I got this half-elf bartender who's kind of mine for, like, another 20 minutes. You want to go spite some Beckys, or... <laughs> oh, here, here, here. Let's go get our force installed. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's a dance left decision, but I'll take it. Uh, oh, true. True. Um... I'll keep thinking let's, about mine. Let's start there, and maybe the fortune will let us know what the Vianti decision will be. That probably shouldn't help you. You know what? Let's not think about it too hard. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Predeterminism gets real hairy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I'm not sovereign. Joaquin for life. Gets going. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ka, a, um, a very handsome, lithe young man, uh, with sort of golden brown skin, uh, he's wearing a, a flowing green robe, um, with, um, beautiful sandals and, and 
and pants. His outfit is very nice. A gold mask and a... Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, a half lane A rappy bangle? <laughs> oh, and a rappy oh, bangle. A rappy bangle. Yes, thank Sorry, you I forgot about the rappy bangle. I've heard of it. <laughs> um, uh, and... A um a halfling with just giant hair, um, attempting to maintain it to some degree, uh, and uh, sort of a, a a sexy dryad, I believe, is what we settled on outfit. Yes. <laughs> uh, mask is covered in leaves. Uh, the the dress is uh, green with flowers on it. Uh, and springtime poison ivy. Yeah. Springtime point and wedges. Springtime for poison ivy. Yes, is the other description. Uh, comes uh, clomping over to you. I'm just imagining the dress as just like a normal, like good gala prom dress, but it's just real tree pattern. Yes. <laughs> I spent real coin. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Uh, are you two girls in line, or what? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Gail is over doing other stuff. I think Navira oh. stuck behind Cod and is just kind of standing there. Okay, like overlooking everyone, keeping an eye on Gail, keeping an eye on Tarbek, keeping an eye on Ka. That's smart. These religious just... types are very trusting, so having security kind of watching over their money, <laughs> said the cleric. <laughs> so do you want to like do you want to go first, uh, Vianti, or? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, do I give you money first, or? Well, here, hold my one. I'm gonna climb on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, so yeah, uh, thing... here I'll I handle the money. Uh, I'll put a uh, gold coin in the in the tray. So Ka's just going to kind of look at Viante and just, like, pull up her own shaws as, as if to say, Your, yours is kind of falling off there, dude. <laughs> oh, no, that's just the way it is. It just happened. <laughs> my, I, my skin is allergic. Clothes are a prison for my body. <laughs> <laughs> so how's, how's the next half hour look? Uh, Whoa. Good, good. Chances aren't good. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Um. Uh. Uh. And what uh, about my my friend here? Yeah, I'll put down another coin, kind of lean in, and be like, "Hey, you don't get a lot of repeat business with a lot of woes." <laughs> I'm just. As you were, uh, so yeah. Here, uh, here's my here's my coin. Sorry, BNT. Well, you're below me, so yeah. <laughs> she'll try to say extra mysteriously. <laughs> Reply hazy. <laughs> try again later. Well, that is a way to get him coming back. Okay, respect, <laughs> respect. She's good. She's good. Yeah, she's yeah. No, okay. I take it back. Um, I think we could get her to perform with the coin all night. What's that? Maybe we could get her to perform at the coin one night. Oh, yeah. I... So, do you uh, perform professionally? Do you have a card at all? <laughs> Is this for a locksmith? <laughs> I mean, I do need a locksmith, but... I have a lot of street people who are suddenly staying at my place that I didn't <laughs> remember. All right. Well, yeah. I will just, and um, I will show her <laughs> my card because I can't give it up. <laughs> but just note the address. We're in the D ward. Just right stiff I'll in the middle. A copy of on the back of one of their <laughs> cards. It's just. It's all of the information on Dance Labs in Dance Labs handwriting. <laughs> That's great. She's real good. That's great. Hey, uh, kind of between you, me, and the silver tray here, 
Savras or what's your uh, what's your flavor? I have I don't have them on me, but I have several. But I'm, I'm a Joaquin cleric myself. Show the the coin, obviously. So Ka's going to say in a very deep and almost authoritative, but not quite voice, Quarlin. Oh. Didn't see that coming. Okay, okay, Corlin. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I love what you're doing. I love, I love the, the mystery. Setup. The whole everything. Yeah. The the demon muscle is great. <laughs> <laughs> My ears can distinctively hear the jangling of your bangles. I appreciate it as a fellow rapper. Oh, yeah. Wearer. Bangle game. On point. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We love what you're doing. Again, don't hand out so many woes. It spooks people, but I like it. I like it. Well, it sounds like nothing can go wrong, VMT. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you are wrapping up this conversation, um, Doth Cromore approaches you, Dance Lab, and oh. says... Oh, don't blow this for me. There you are, my dear. Um, yes, I know the butler just said that Lord and Lady Antios are not well, but they still, I did talk to them, and they are taking some visitors. They just don't want to make, you know, it's the whole, it's a, it's an anxiety thing, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, I do get it. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, you were, you were Southern the last time we talked. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll like whisper over to Ka. That's her putting on her charm arms. Yeah, no, I... Yes. That um, is amazing. <laughs> uh, and he'll say, uh, your, your friends are welcome to come up to you if they have um, a Shark Tank proposal for the Anteos. Well, that would be absolutely great. Dragon's yes, Den, think... Dragon's Den, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it right the second time. Let's take it from one. Um, <laughs> no, that would be so great. I'll kind of look at call and navira like you guys got business here because we got four tickets to paradise here i can probably get five like it's gonna be it, it that would be great do you mind giving us a second and we'll follow you we'll meet oh. you by the stairs okay, or yes. where's that yeah okay and he, yeah he'll say i'll be i'll be by the bar okay i strategically touch his arm absolutely i'll be right there he blushes under his mask and then <laughs> I don't know. I got like two bows right next to each other. This is where you thread the needle. Watch this. But okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, listen, hey, we got access to the host. So I don't know if you're party entertainment or whether or not you're here to see them too, but we're going that way if you guys want to go that way. Navira will make eye contact with Gail across the dance floor and just like... Gail immediately rushes over. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? What's going on? Oh boy! Yeah, it seems you have a chance for an elevator pitch. Cool, let's go. <laughs> and take, Do like, we want to include the volcano real estate or no? Mm, <laughs> how is this Tarbeck luck? <laughs> Ask again later. Ugh, I. <laughs> okay, so that's a no. Let's go. Oh man, I thought that was a suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> So the sound of a murder of crows is collapse in that. <laughs> <laughs> hops, hops down off his chair and just clanks, following Drop behind everyone. Now is he following in a straight line or? Yeah, I, other than other than his accent being nearly indecipherable currently, he seems fine. It's well, at least somebody's reasonably sized around here. Good. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, this guy. We see eye to eye, literally. Um, all right. Yeah. Go uh, Go up to the bar. Kind of try and, like, keep at least one body between me and my, my bartender so that that's not awkward. Mm -hmm. um, I'll strategically stand between the two. <laughs> Robe flowing like in a seal video. <laughs> All right. Oh, Perfect. Set. Stranger feels, yeah. Oh, hey, Dot. Sorry, it just took me a second to gather everybody. We're ready when you are. 
Uh, and he will offer you his arm as if to walk up the stairs arm in arm. Bless. And he will start walking up the stairs. Everybody good to follow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, so they'll take you up the stairs, turn left. You can pass a couple bedrooms, which seem like uh, they either have servants or people who've snuck away from the party to get a moment of a- alone time. Um, and they'll, he'll walk you to a, um, a, a study that has the door cracked open and he will knock and say, your guests. And then he'll gesture for all of you to enter. Bless you, Doc. Bless you so much. And you did say it's okay if I drop your name at the oh, of course, choristers of course. and musicians. I would be guild. most honored, even. Well, the dance I have to lab, keep yes. you in mind. Charmed. Okay. Bye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this study is huge, and it's like the library from Beauty and the Beast. It's just wall to wall books. There's a a fireplace that doesn't have a fire going because it's it's warm enough outside. But but there's a couple overstuffed armchairs, um, um, a desk um, that has various maps and scrolls on it. And there is a woman sitting in one of the overstuffed armchairs looking at a mask. She is not masked, but she is looking at a mask? She's not masked, but she is looking at one. Like so. Yep. Just a woman? Just a woman. Okay. Uh... Enter with a flourish anyway. (laughs) Use your full movement. Lead with my best face. I let Vianchi go first. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, hello. Yes. Please come in. And are you the lady of the house? Uh, she will kind of think for a second and say yes, in a manner of speaking. And what was their names again? Uh, Lord Antios. Antios, yeah, Lord and Lady Antios. So the Lady Antios, I presume. She'll say, "Not quite, no." Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought Lord and Lady Antios were up here. Who pray are you? Uh, she will stand and put the mask down on the desk next to her and um walk around behind the chair and lean against it and you can see um she is a uh, beautiful elven woman with long blonde hair uh wearing wizard's robes and uh she kind of <laughs> smiles to herself and she says oh in time we're we're not done with the foreplay yet i think Ooh. well i do enjoy some foreplay but not not here in front of all of these people, please. She'll smile, smile again. Somewhere around manner of speaking, I'd like to look at Lady Caw. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who said whoa to us <laughs> fairly recently. Oh, and somewhere my it. poor hick upbringing really fears the fate of night. <laughs> I've been trying to push that down all night, but you know what? All of a sudden, Aunt Janice is making a lot of sense. <laughs> Knew I should have burned a crop circle. Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Where am I going to crop circle this hour? I got to go. I should have saged. I should have, should have saged. <laughs> stupid dance lips. Stupid, 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 stupid. Um, uh, but... But yeah, she will look at the rest of you and and gesture for you all to to step inside her study. Her study? Uh, Lady Antios, in a manner of speaking? Uh, I'm the lady of the house, but now I am not Lady Antios. 
Okay. Uh, well, I am Dance Lab Sweet Chest. Uh, this is <clears throat> my man, Vianti. And these are my friends who need no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> she will look at you, Dance Lab and Vianti, and say, "Yes, I am quite familiar. I'm a, I'm a big fan of all that you've done." Oh, oh. so did you write the letter inviting us here? I did. Yes. Ah, oh, well, suspicions abated. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, as like a citizen of Waterdeep, does Gail know who this is? As a citizen of water, no, as a citizen of Waterdeep, uh, no. Oh, you. Oh, but you can make a a history check. Just all the same, because you you can tell okay, who it is. I missed not. most of that. Oh, was that a history? Check? I'm sorry. Yeah, make a history check, please. Okay. Gail, Gail may not know who this Ooh. is, but she can tell who it is not. Uh, six. What was that again? That's a 16. Oh, 16. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is uh, sixteen f- for sure not Lady Antios. Like, can confirm. You have seen Lady Antios before. They're human, first of all. <laughs> so you don't know why this elf is claiming she's a lord of, or lady of the house or whatever. Oh. Uh, so then Gail will, like take a sort of a step back and be like partly hide behind Navira, just okay. like as a precaution. Okay. And then she'll like pipe up and say, hi, I'm Gail. Uh, so do you want to skip to the end where you tell us who you are and why you're, you're claiming to be the lady of somebody else's house or are you going to be mysterious and strange the whole night? do prefer the latter, but if you insist, we can get to the vulgarities of it. Hey, Elba Vianti, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would help us greatly, because, like, we were just enjoying the party, and, you know, we can get through it, we can maybe go back to the party while it's still going on. I Going back to the party will not work for me. Um, I'd prefer you stay. We have we have some things to discuss. In fact, um, some business opportunities. I. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah, she'll she'll walk over to the desk and kind of put her hand on the mask and. Like looking at it, kind of flip it over, so it's it's like face down, and uh, she'll uh, pick up a couple pieces of parchment and a map, and uh, she looks at Task Force Unlikely and says, "You dispelled the Red God Spark of Tiamat here," and she'll point at a map of Waterdeep and uh, roughly where Safe Haven is, and you fought uh, the the army. Uh, and she says, tell me about that. Well, that just like makes the adventures. sounds of a battle. <laughs> um, I've just realized we are in the presence of adventurers, and I'm going to kind of grab <laughs> Vianti's robes and just kind of like pull them closer to me. <laughs> Preferably at the fireball range. <laughs> Theirs or hers? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> like to be 30 feet away from everybody. Uh, so, yeah, you, uh, Call makes the sound of a battle. Does anyone else want to add anything? Uh, Gail will pipe up and say, well, there's not much to tell. There was a lot of fighting. There was a dragon for a while. There wasn't a dragon for a while. Navira like kicked some guy really hard in the nuts and almost killed him. That was cool. So you know, usual saving the earth stuff, that kind of thing. 
and that where pretty cool. yeah, where did you send the god spark uh, why do you need to know that Ask yeah later yeah, Tarbeck will shrug. <laughs> um, um, ach, no. Ach, no. Um, uh, the woman will say, a simple curiosity. I'm trying to put together some pieces of a puzzle. I find that most people's curiosities have motives behind them. And I would very much like to know yours. Uh, she will smile and she'll say, you are direct. And I do like that from adventurers. Um, it's so refreshing. Um, she will say, like, and it is so frustrating. <laughs> oh, you nobles like to dance around my questions. Why do you want to know? Um, she will say. My master seeks the five sparks of Tiamat. Oh, that's a bad word. Yeah, that's a bad word. <laughs> Is that one of the bad ones? That's one of the bad ones. <laughs> and why exactly does he want the five sparks of Tiamat? Uh, she will say he will put them to much better use than the bitch queen of dragons. No, language like that is how you get gods on as your enemies. And trust me, you don't that. You also do not want the five sparks of Tiamat. You have no idea the kind of forces that are after a power like that. She'll what say... Is she a bitch? <laughs> uh... She'll say, yes. I, the cult of Zariel is intimidating, but I don't fear them. Okay, that's two bad words. I cast warding <laughs> bond on, <laughs> on my boy, the anti. Okay, what made up bullshit is that? What does that do? <laughs> no, uh, warding bond is... Vianti has resistance to all damage, but at the cost of me taking half of Vianti's damage. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. She. <laughs> um, do you have to touch him for that, or is it just... Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I will confirm, but yes, and I, I was trying to be next to him, so... No, yeah, I, I'm not going to stop. I'm I just mean, curious for... Dance up anyway? Something. Of yes. course. But yes, touch. because... Unrelated, both the Andy and I took all touch-related spells. Yes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Range touch is yeah. our specialty. Uh, so, yeah, so she will say um, uh, that she does not fear the cult of Zariel, and she'll kind of... She'll... It, <laughs> go ahead. Navira will look her dead in the eye and say, good, maybe you'll make a more enticing target than me. Um... Uh, she will see in the back dance lab tap Vianti and say a spell and uh, she'll look at the two of you and say I, I don't think I've properly thanked you yet for the good you have done no no this us uh, <laughs> you already said you're a big fan I feel like that's enough yeah that's yes. enough I assume you mean one of our shows or yeah, all coin welcome. Um, it, I would not call it. Wait, say that again. <laughs> Zuma classes. Did you come to one of our Zuma classes? Oh, I am fit, but no. Um, yeah, you're keeping it tight. Like, uh, that. like you work out. She will yep. say, uh, no, I'm more of a fan of your work before you got to Waterdeep. Um, you, you found uh, an artifact that I find most interesting. Uh, mm. And so does my master. He has it now. And he thanks you greatly. I don't remember any artifacts. I cast Sanctuary on <laughs> the edging. Are both of those... Oh, no, Sanctuary is not concentration, is it? Oh, no, no. I can do, like, seven of these. <laughs> uh, I know exactly how many non-concentration spells I can hold. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so... so, Vianti's just glowing, like, eight different ways at this point. <laughs> I mean... Normal. It's got 
like three uh, little, little bluff buff things above his head. Yeah. <laughs> yep. His bar is going onto a second line. Um, oh. Um. Great. Yep. You're welcome. We tried to do the right thing there. And I'm sure it's in the hands of the right people. Um, cool, cool, cool. I, um, I don't feel good. And neither does Vianti. So, uh, you're welcome. I've All coins to... welcome to the, at the, uh, find us in the C word. <laughs> I've, I've got the, the the sparkle stomach. You, you know how it is when you get all. Oh no, not again! I'll kind of rub his back. Yeah, this happens. Uh, so when you glisten too much, it all goes to the stomach. It's a real tragedy. Uh, she will uh, magically close the door behind you. Can I magically open the door up again? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, and I've got the boob back. You know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> yeah. for a couple hours. Uh, you can magically reopen the door. <laughs> I love cause magical squad. rebuttal. Fuck you. Yeah, just click. Oh, come on. I closed I'm, that. I'm getting real mixed messages here. Um, She will look at you, Dan Slap and Vianti, and uh, say... Um, I need you to find the th- third piece. Uh, uh, um, you have touched one of the pieces. Uh, well, well mm-hmm. touched. I mean, I uh, touch don't like that. <laughs> yeah, you you remember Max Alicorn, the auntie? Oh, Maxie boy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so this this is probably you probably you want well he's I I believe he's dead, but like you probably you he touched it. We barely yeah. touched it. Our friend our friend B I think Mage handed it even. So like that's yeah, not that's not regularly <laughs> touching it. That's so yeah. we're back in the old kingdoms B is like sitting up in her bed like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm suddenly really angry. <laughs> now, so like touched it. We didn't. We didn't touch it. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, so. Yeah, you have the wrong dance slap and Beyonce. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the wrong snake man. <laughs> <laughs> and halfway. Yeah, yeah, no. Very common mistake. We get that all the time. So. Um. She will once again magically close the door. And I once again magically reopen it. <laughs> she will say, I am losing my patience. <laughs> oh, honey, I already lost it. <laughs> uh, she will say, she will pointing at, at, at Task Force Unlikely say, is trying to be nice but if you will not cooperate then I still have to punish you for your actions and you two pointing at Dance Life and Vianti I'm not done with you so we can go or that's a that sounded like a no roll initiative Sorry, I, I completely lost that entire encounter before you said roll initiative. What happened? Uh, she, she's mad. She's mad. She pointed she at mad. she pointed at Task Force and Lakely and said, "If you won't cooperate, you will have to be punished for de- banishing the God Spark." And then pointed at Dan Slap and Vianti and said that she's not done with them. And then asked you to roll initiative. Oh, this bitch crossing every line, huh? <laughs> My initiative rolls are usually straight crap, but I did actually pretty well this time. I did I well, too. Okay, let's see. Uh, like several warning signs have come and gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, did anyone get above a 20? Gail. What'd you get, Gail? I got a 21. 21. 
Uh, 15 to 20. Uh, 19. 19 for Dan Slayup, call. 15. Uh, Navira, what did you get? 12. 12, and Vianti? Uh, 13. Okay. And yet I'm still dead last. <laughs> oh, Tarbeck rolled worse than you. Oh, hey, look at that. I forgot he was still in the room. Fuck, I! <laughs> uh, Gail, you get to go first. Ooh. Uh. Well. I guess Gail is going to cast fairy fire on the lady okay and then go hide <laughs> okay she will roll an 18 on her deck save ah uh, bean that <laughs> definitely uh misses okay so no she uh she succeeded so i'm still gonna go hide <laughs> okay uh, would you like to make a stealth check? Yes, please. At advantage. Oh. Ah. Uh, that would be an 11. <laughs> I rolled an 8 and a 4. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, she will take a legendary action. What now? A legendary action. <laughs> to cast um, Ray of Frost at Gale. Oh, uh, no. Uh, ooh, uh, 26 to hit? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, things of help. <laughs> uh, so you take... Uh... 13 cold damage, and your speed is reduced by 10. Can I uncanny dodge that? Yes. Or is it just... Oh. No, you can. So half of 13 is 7? Uh... No, it's... It'd be rounded it's, down, so it's, it's 6. Yeah, it's round down, so you 6. It's oh. 6, yeah. Six. Okay. Ow, that's not nice. Uh, dance lap. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so I've got warding bond on Vianti. Mm -hmm. I have sanctuary on Vianti. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast mirror image on myself. God. Okay. <laughs> about to get and spear a weapon behind this elven lady. Okay. I am not concentrating on any spells right now. <laughs> What is this build? <laughs> it's amazing. Also, uh, spirit weapon will be at fourth level because who doesn't want another D? Okay. All right, so let me make sure I do all my bookkeeping. Got it. Okay. So there are now three other dance laps. And I'm going to, with a spectral spiritual smexy whip, uh, attack uh, from behind. Okay. As if I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Point at one of the other fake dance labs. I don't know, man. It's her. She's a danger hoe. All right. So, uh, actually, I think this will only be a plus six. Does a 14 do it? A 14 does not do it. No. Didn't sound good when I said it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the whip, the whip slashes against her, and you're like, "She's a wizard. That should hit." And it just seems to bounce off her unnaturally hard skin. And I will sneak behind one of these oversized chairs, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and be motioning for Vianti, like, "We got to get the hell out of here." <laughs> it turns out we made some of the most powerful enemies. In the Forgotten Realm, somehow. 
I, just I know how these guys did it. They're adventurers. <laughs> yeah, see, all I remember is doing the runway show. I don't... I know, right? Dancing lights, full movement. Yeah. <clears throat> white snake videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blue eyes, white dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. Uh, she will cast mirror image on herself. Oh, come on. What? That's her move. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lady Call, it is your turn. Cool. I'm going to dispel magic, her mirror image. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's great to see calls flexing in person. Shit. <laughs> like I'm a I'm a fan. I watch. Uh yeah. Uh her dispel magic effect ends. Oh I'm sorry, her her mirror image effect ends because of your dispel magic. And I'm gonna healing word Gale. Okay. Aw, thank you. Uh when you cast um dispel magic, not only does her mirror image fade but uh, her visage turns from a um, a beautiful elf to uh, an elf with desiccated features and uh, very thin hair. Uh, she is some sort of undead. Oh. Oh god, that mask was a metaphor. <laughs> 7 HP back to Gale. Thank you. Oh girl, you gotta moisturize. <laughs> Uh, anything else on your turn, Ka? Make sure I'm behind Navira, because I haven't <laughs> done normally any of my, but, like, normally evasive things. Yeah. Uh. Um, you, you move behind Navira, and, uh, the elf kind of, and shoots a ray of frost. Uh, but because you skirted behind Navira, it will target Navira. Uh, oh, good God. 30 to hit Navira. <laughs> oh, well, gee, I guess. You know, just misses. Uh, 11 frost damage. Or it's cold, a good thing I'm a cold damage. Goddamn freaking barrel of hit points. A tiefling Gundam, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Vianti. All right. So, it's time to get all Full Metal Alchemist up in this bitch. I'm going <laughs> to slap my hands together, slap them on the ground, and I'm going to cast Magic Circle on her. Yes! Uh, hold on a second. Do you need me to read it for you? I think what's the casting? No, the casting time is one minute. That's what I'm looking up. Sorry. Oh gosh, dang it! I didn't read that part. Yeah, it's it's crazy good, but yeah, that's yeah. why it's crazy. Shit. Well, do that for another nine rounds. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, will, you guys will make it. We'll cover you. <laughs> dang it! Ah, I didn't read that part of it. That was the one thing I skipped over. Why would I take a spell that would cast a minute? Um. Speak with animals? That's gonna help right now, right? Uh... Can you summon your familiar, please? <laughs> um, shoot. Let's see. What can I do? All my shit is... I gotta go up and touch her. <laughs> Damn us for being so on brand. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Um... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, maybe I can do this. Throw a book at her. <laughs> no, my one true friend books. <laughs> uh, uh, can I ask her to make me a wisdom saving throw? You can. Uh... 17. Ah, shit, that beats it. Okay. 
Um, on a failed save, the target ha- I'm trying to enthrall her. Mm. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't think that it has anything. No, yeah, on fail, it. it's fail. Boo. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna hide. <laughs> okay. I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the desk. <laughs> Behind the chair. Yeah, I'm gonna hide with Dan Slap. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I was really counting on the magic circle. <laughs> no, yeah, I think she is ab- above our pay grade. Sorry. Uh, I wrote Gale twice. That's not right. Navira. Uh, yeah, let's I... let Gale go again. <laughs> yeah. It's time for the tank to do what the tank does. <laughs> Did you say that she was an undead? She is undead. Hell yeah. All right. It's time to smack this bitch. Tiefling, Gundam, go! <laughs> like, full on. I'm gonna first use half my movement to dramatically rip my cloak off. <laughs> oh. There you go. I just half a movement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it does a 26 hit her. 26 does hit. <laughs> I'd be worried if it didn't. All right. Um, let's see. So if we hit her with a level three divine smite, that is plus one for her being undead. Let's see if I have enough d8s to do this. I might not. Yeah, this this these next couple of minutes are going to be a lot of math. Just letting you know that right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness gracious, I had a lot of ones in Luckily, I get to re-roll those. Mm. Oh, that is more like it. All right, so 14, uh, 22, 28, 31, plus 3, 34, plus 38, 39. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. don't know where they got him from, but the Auntie yeah. hold up little signs that say ten on them. And... <laughs> and y'all, that was just my first attack. Oh God, <laughs> yeah, I get two of them. Navir is gonna solo this uh, <laughs> this lich. Don't buy me that. See, this is why people hire real adventurers. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh damn it, that's only a seventeen. Uh, a 17 is her armor class, but she will cast shield. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> She's not messing with that again. <laughs> no, thank you! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I said not right now. Navira is also just, like, grinning from ear to ear. Like, she's having a goddamn time of her life. This is what she was built to do. Party, we were at it. It kind of sucked because it was a party and I don't like those. But, like, now this, I can get into this. <laughs> So, like, I'm used to parties where ritual sacrifices happen, and this is about as close as you get. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. She's like, why aren't you on board? Yeah. Now it's making sense. Is this my birthday? <laughs> oh, I'm going to break this pinata. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else on your turn, Navira? Look, badass is all hell. I got, like, the anime glow behind me. Like full on Gundam like move. Let's go. Just move the keyboard. There we go. Okay. Uh, Tarbex turn. Oh, no! Uh, he'll cast Spiritual Weapon. Of course. Thrasher Mop. Thrasher Mop. Uh, he will hit. Dance up. What's Spiritual Weapon's damage? Uh, spiritual weapon is 1d8 per two levels, so okay. d8 force. Thank you. And then he will activate the Thresher Maw. Oh, and that, that activates on her turn. Okay. Uh, oh, respect. <laughs> at the end of Tarbeck's turn... The Lich will Ray of Frost. 
Navira, but she has a disadvantage because Navira is in melee with her. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> Try to catch me now, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, back up to the top is Gale. Uh, I guess Gale will turn invisible. Okay. And then try to hide again, because okay. I, don't, I don't think she can actually uh, do anything right now. Uh, I mean, she would get sneak attack from attacking if she wanted to. But invisibil- casting invisibility is an action. Right, yes. But yeah, so hiding would be mm-hmm. the only thing you can do if you cast invisibility. Sorry, yes. So, you, like, uh, move mm-hmm. behind her or closer to her? or Yeah, I'll move probably, like... I'll just try to sneak around behind her, I guess. Okay, so make a stealth check with advantage. You are going... Double advantage. Ooh. Uh, 18. Okay, yeah. You vanish from sight, and she broke eye contact with you for a moment, and when she looks back, you think you are hidden from her. She kind of is scanning the room now. There were six of you. <laughs> I have an intelligence of twenty. I know that. <laughs> Be anti good news. She lost trade of us. Yeah, she's probably counting your doubles now. Yeah. Uh, dance lap. Okay. Um. All right. I'll kind of peek out from behind the chair. And first things first, I'm going to bless. Myself, Bianti, and that Dever girl is our best chance of getting the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am now concentrating on a spell. Okay. Oh, now after you have five spell effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? It, you make it sound weird. Uh, and then I will attempt to spirit whip her again. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, it's a natural one. I don't roll natural ones. You don't do know not. if you know that. Charmed life me. Okay. A 14 plus 6 because it's a cleric spell. A 20. Uh, would normally hit, but her shield is still active. Oh, dang. That's this round still. Like, oh, man. I really feel like that was just a hit. I say to Bianti. Um, <laughs> You'll get him next time. Uh, yeah, okay. Just make room behind the chair. And I go back in the chair. <laughs> I can occupy the same space as Vianti, by the way. Okay, yes. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> Put a robe over you. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> We're too young and too pretty. <laughs> She's just jealous of her beauty. I know. Okay. She needs to moisturize. You saw that. As this lich fights a room of adventurers and an angry overstuffed armchair. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, Navira? Don't like that. Like that Dance like lamp. Start of the list. Yep. <laughs> and call. I'll make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Oh, I'm notoriously good at those. Uh, you get an additional D4. This is a saving throw, right? Yes. So, and they're all within my vicinity. Yes. So they'll all get. All right. Add three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. And add oh. a D4. Okay. Twelve. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, okay. Twenty-four. I'll remind you, I'm also a bard dancer. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Dance lap. Hashtag blast. Yes. Take 22 lightning damage. No, thank you. (laughs) Ka Navira, take 45 lightning damage. Jesus Christ! And she cast Chain Lightning. Oh no! What was it? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Well, I'm in single digits. 
Yeah, if okay, that had so... hit, oh, um... it would have been down to two. <laughs> oh, she does have to. Uh, I would have taken half of it, actually. Half of half? Uh, no, no, I was telling, uh, since I cast oh, Warding yeah, yeah, Bond. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, right. Okay, uh, Andrew. Yes? Does this target me with an attack? E... No, it forces you to make a saving throw. All right, is that enough of a distinction to not have my mirror image? I believe it is. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I believe that. Okay. The lightning bolt is yeah, hungry okay. for flesh. It can tell. All right. I'm going to roll a concentration check because I am now concentrating on a spell. Uh, I took 22, so that's 11 that yes. I have to beat. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a 16. Okay, yeah, you're good. Uh, and she... Uh, stay blessed! <laughs> Are you okay, Dean Slab? No! <laughs> Not even... No! The anti I'm smoking! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... Oh, bless your innocent heart, I didn't mean to snap. Uh, and she took Spirit Guardian's damage. Excellent. Yeah, start your turn in that. Um, that was her turn. Caw. Please heal yourself. Please. No, no, we're gonna be foolish. Spell attack. An 18 does hit because she is no longer shielded. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, Jay, your mic's doing something weird. Is it doing weird things again? There we go. You guys it's hear me? Um, you fixed it. You're yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ka is going to walk up to her and slowly, and as she does, not only does she already smell a whole lot like burnt feathers, which hmm, <laughs> that pleasant. She's going to start to look very, very ill. Almost like she's molting, and she's kind of, like, bleeding, and she's just gonna slowly brush the back of her hand against this lich, and all of that illness is going to transfer over to her. Okay. I cast Contagion. She now has the slimy doom. She has disadvantage on constitution checks. She has to make constitution checks for the next three rounds, and if she takes damage... She is stunned for her next round. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> the creature brings I have been waiting for this one. The creature is on <laughs> In addition. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some bullshit I would think of. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not in Xanathar's. No. That's just in Xanathar's handbook. And That's how just is just, she yeah. not immune to disease? She's undead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. My beautiful lich. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Smackdown. Oh, man. Okay. This is no holds barred. Uh, yeah. So that's a thing. Um, anything else on your turn, call other than ruining my day? <laughs> no, I'm pretty good with that. Turn. Yeah, I think Me so. And nine hit points are just feeling pretty pleased about ourselves. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Beyonce. All right. Um, am I within 10 feet of her? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to peer out from behind our armchair, and I'm going to cast Poison Spray on her, so I'd like her to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, which she has disadvantage on. <laughs> okay, she will get an 18. She's got to be pretty good at them. She's undead. 
Gosh dang also, it. like, a named canonical character. <laughs> yeah, so pass. She is, is second in command of the bad place. <laughs> Andy is tired of us saying, red wizards are dumb and easy to kill. Yeah. No, they sent their number one lieutenant. Yep. I'm gonna go, shit, and then drop back down. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, I know one dumb elf who helped absolutely trounce her. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I did that wrong. That's fine. Uh, Navira. All right. Smackdown part two. Yeah, plus four to all attacks. Wait, so plus D four. Oh hell you have yeah! Plus, it is the opposite of Bane. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> uh, that adds. Oh goodness gracious! This is gonna be fun. That's a nat 20. Oh, no. Plus D4, plus D4. <laughs> so, that already is a 30 plus 3. So, yeah, that's a 33 to hit. I help. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun. Son of a bitch, yep. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Uh, Cobb, please promise me that you Die so vivify because I am using my last third level spell slot for it. to drown this lich. <laughs> All right, reroll ones and two. Got so much rolling. All right, so that's 10, 15, 16, 19. Reroll ones and two. All right. So 19, 20, 24, 25, 29, 32, plus 9, 41. Do I get that plus 4? Plus D4 on my no, damage no, rolls? No, not, on, not on damage. No. 41 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Smack down. <laughs> Is she concentrating on anything? 20. Is that the crit damage? Yeah, no, I rolled it twice. Okay. Had some had some kind of garbage rolls in there, but uh, and it was what forty five. Hmm? What was it? Forty one. Forty one. Forty one. She's bloodied. Uh... Okay. okay, first attack. <laughs> Second one. Oh. Oh well. Okay, my dice are favoring me tonight. So. Plus uh, 31 to hit. <laughs> yep. 31? <laughs> Jesus. 31 yep. to hit. Um, and this time we'll go second. So I don't have left. So where are my D8? Goodness gracious. Can't find anything in this goddamn box. There we go. All right. Ooh. 16. 22, 25, plus 9, is 34 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, she's still standing. <laughs> I, I believe she's stunned. Yeah, but for how much longer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's stunned. Oh, no. The only thing she gets to do with her turn is make a con save. Yeah, man. <laughs> Contagion's broke. <laughs> yeah, man, why would you just not pick that one? Cause, cause, <laughs> right? Because they have disadvantage on the thing that gets them out of it. Like, yeah. They're just boned. <laughs> Wish he had cast shield. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Tarbeck will uh, run over to um, will oh no, good. Um, we'll run over to Kaw and cast Cure Wounds at 5th level and heal Kaw for 29 hit points. That's pretty good. And then his spiritual weapon will miss. Uh, Gale. 
uh, Gail see her teammates utterly wail on this lich thing and try to stab her from behind. Okay. Uh, you have advantage. Her, yeah. With her cool, super new rapier. Mm-hmm. Which does not... Oh, I have advantage. Mm-hmm. That's better. Uh, that's a 28 to hit. <laughs> That's a hit, yes. Okay, let's take sneak attack damage, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's out of a lot of good dice. Oh, that was a lot of good dice. That's uh, five. Uh, eleven. If we die 15. here, Vanty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just 18, like flipping through my book, try and find 20, something. <laughs> Twenty. Five plus 28 points of damage. Okay. She is stunned in kind of the chain lightning pose, and you <laughs> stab her through the back. Uh, Gale reappears behind her, like, I don't even, yeah, some <laughs> anime nonsense. Uh, like, flickers <laughs> back into existence with a knife, or with a rapier, spinning this lich to the ground. And uh, her body starts to crumble and fall apart. And you just hear her say, not again. <laughs> oh, God damn it. She'll reform nice. in, in Thay in nine days. <laughs> <laughs> we have a 10 day, everybody. <laughs> um, congratulations on beating Valindra Shadow Mantle. God, we didn't even learn her name. <laughs> we just started wailing on her. Uh, uh, she crumbles in front of you. What would you all like to do? Spit some of my blood on to what's left of her. Okay. <laughs> uh, I should probably go find Lord and Lady Antios. <laughs> Uh, Dance that bravely runs out from behind the chair and up behind her new friends. I look over to Vianti and be like, we're okay. <laughs> uh, that's my dupe up there. Yeah, we, we really helped. Yeah, I'm still behind a chair with Vianti, <laughs> but my duplicate is right there with the uh, task force unlikely. Yep. You guys were real great. Maria's just going to like peek her head behind the chair. <laughs> We helped. We split the loot, right? <laughs> as far as Navira is concerned, y'all could have all of it. We're <laughs> technically rich. I'm going Man. to invoke duplicity just so a second cock can peer around the back of the chair at Dan Lab. Now we're busted. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, shoot. I think I like this crow lady even more. Yeah, she can make two of her two. <laughs> we really gotta get her to come to the coin sometime. But, so if she could make multiples of her, could she do multiple fortune tellings at the same time? I think so. Good opportunity to boost twice the profits. <clears throat> uh, I come up from behind the chair, because apparently that was not fooling anyone. <laughs> Uh, before that, I have my dupe uh, cure wounds on the real call. Okay. Uh, at the third level. Uh, cure wounds can go bard or cleric, right? Yes. All right. All right. We're off to a good start. 17... And we'll add plus four to that. So 21 more points, call. Now I'm only missing two. <laughs> Still smell like burned feathers, though, which, like... And I'll keep my mirror images up back here. <laughs> okay. Uh... There's what's known as a dance card of dance laps in this room now. Uh, so yeah, what, what, uh, someone said they want to go try and find the real Lord and Lady Antios. Yeah, we should that probably go find wise. that Doth guy who sends us into a room with a lich. 
<laughs> go bully him into telling us what's going on. Also, if Lord and Lady Antios are dead, I'm hunting down that witch and killing her again. <laughs> also, That's the best thing about witches, you can keep doing it. That actually amuses me. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I look around? Uh, sure. Uh, what do you? What, is there anything in particular you were looking for? Otherwise, I'll just start telling you stuff. Uh, a tied up couple with gags cartoonishly in their mouths behind like a bookcase or something. <laughs> it's a big room. <laughs> uh, so me and my dupes can split the duty. Uh, looking around, you do not find any people now. <clears throat> Uh, can I look around? Uh, sure. Nothing up here. I ask. Wand of secrets. Ooh, wand of secrets. Um, there is a secret door in this room. Let's go through the secret door. Where is it? Uh, it's behind one of the bookcases. Okay, I find the one obviously mismatched book and just <laughs> tug on it. <laughs> Click. If that doesn't work, I pull a candle out of a candelabra next to the bookcase. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> uh, the bookcase uh, slides into the ground. Oh, dip. That was unexpected. I know when you're dealing with these types. Let's go. Uh, Gail will cast, because does it look, does the hallway that appeared uh, looks like it's dark? It is dark, yes. Okay, so Gail will cast Dancing Lights and light, just light the way down the hallway. Okay. Dance up, we'll cast it. Dan- yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so- Navira is going to discreetly heal herself for all 45 of those hit points that she lost during the lightning attack because okay. ow okay careful Vianti. we're with adventurers they're dangerous yeah I'm suddenly very worried about our situation yeah no one of the paws suddenly turns to them, like sneaks up behind them, goes ooh, and rattles real. Oh god! <laughs> I was, I was, I was startled by thinking of something else. No, no, no. It's not stupid. Dance lab, stupid. I think we should keep close to the the tall one. Oh yeah, yeah. You think? Okay. <laughs> but not like too close. So if something hits her, we don't get it. <laughs> Dand if we do, Dand if we don't be anti The human go. shield. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, uh, who who wants to stand in the front? Not uh, it. <laughs> okay, we'll go first and check for traps. Okay. Uh, investigation or perception check, please. Behind her, Tarbeck and I will form a wall of tanks. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, me... There is one I'll just keep illusory up. caw at the front of the line for at least a minute. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a 21. Uh, for investigation. <laughs> okay, yeah, so uh, looking around, um, there is a, a trap about halfway down the hallway, it looks like it's um, like a classic pit trap. Oh. Uh, Gail will, I guess, try to disarm it, or can okay. I disarm it, or yeah. is it just mm-hmm. warning people? Uh, uh, you could do either way. If, if you do not disarm it and try to warn people, they will have advantage to get across it, but they still have to make a check. But you can try and disarm it, and then it won't no one will have to make a check when they cross it. Okay, I'll try. I'll disarm it. Okay. Uh, so thieves tools check. Okay. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> that's plus uh, a fifteen, I think. Okay, uh, a fifteen is enough that you successfully disarm it, and you 
uh, disable the pressure plate so that if people are walking, the floor will not fall out from under them. Hooray! Uh, while we're held up for that, mm -hmm. I would like to pray to Joaquin, remind her that I can't make money if we don't all live, and cast Pass Without a Trace on all of us. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, continuing down the hallway, eventually there's uh, a series of stairs that lead down into what looks like a, a dank, unused dungeon. Cool. And they're into some real freaky shit. I guess this is nothing. Uh, or can I get perception and investigation checks, please? Active or uh, <laughs> wait here? Yeah, what's your passive? 19. What is it? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. I guide myself. Okay. Because we are actively investigating. I got Twenty-eight for investigation. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I only rolled a one on the D four, but I did roll a natural twenty. Okay. So that's twenty-five. Still not as good as Gail. <laughs> Gotta take them rogue levels. Yeah, I listen, I didn't want to one up her on a road show. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta be great. You gotta be gracious to the host. Thanks you guys for having us. Um God damn it, that was a really good roll. And Gail okay. comes in and it's all like I roll in that but, sorry, yeah, you were saying. So Gail Gail points at uh something that looks like it's slightly moving in the corner right before Dance Lab is like, I now fine. Slightly moving. <laughs> I saw it first. I saw it too. <laughs> uh, and it looks like something in uh, sacks are moving I cast fireball <laughs> JK, uh, I don't have Gail fireball. just send one of her little balls of dancing lights over to the sacks to okay, yeah, they, they, like. they are roughly they look like big potato sacks they're roughly people sized Okay, let's do this. Gail will go over and like open one of them up. Okay, yeah. Inside, you can see a um, a nobly dressed woman who kind of very panic, panickingly looks at you, and then kind of you can see audibly sighs, but she is bound and gagged. Uh, she is wearing a fancy ball gown, and uh, seems to have on a mask that. Uh, it's just kind of generic, or it's not generic. It just doesn't. It's not very elaborate. It's just a like a silk masquerade mask. Uh, Gail will say, "Lady Antios." Nod. Congratulations! You have just been saved by Task Force Unlikely and friends. <laughs> <laughs> She'll, she'll nod at you, like, yes, yes, <laughs> continue to free me. Untied before I can hand her a business card. Yeah, Gail will untie her and then, I guess, go over and untie her husband. Okay, yeah, and Lord Antios, equally, they, they kind of fuss at each other and then they turn to, to thank you so much. I, it's a task force unlikely. That's correct. Yeah. And Adventurers, locksmiths, and friends. Oh yes. Tighten up that brain. Gale, Lady Calavera, and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> more two more people. <laughs> really? Shit. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. They'll be well. You should tighten up that branding. But yes. <clears throat> thank. Thank you so much. For saving us. Some dreadful elven woman. Very rude. Act like she owned the place. Locked us in our own dungeon. We haven't used this place in years. I'm sure. Yeah, word to the wise. When a lich knocks on your door, you don't let her in. A lich? Lord Antios will fate. <laughs> what are you guys, Am amateurs? Yes. I'm not carrying him back. <laughs> no. Okay. I have my dupe catch him. JK, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Just like non committedly holds out its arms. <laughs> I was almost there. Holds out its arms for him to fall through them. <laughs> um, yeah. Lady Antios will look 
He'll get up in a minute. He does this a lot. <laughs> Look, Smell if you want too. to prevent something... If you want something to prevent something like this from happening again, I suggest you find someone that you trust to put up some magical protections around this place. There's a lot of nasty running around Waterdeep, and you don't want to let any of it into your home. Apparently. Slides a business card towards her. <laughs> yeah, I see you Andy, offer this. Their branding is tight. <laughs> I see you offer these services, yes. Also the one that has all of Dance Lab's information on the back. <laughs> oh, some sort of burlesque show? I mean, I'll also go good, but okay. <laughs> I'll go up to her, take her hand, oh. give it a kiss. Oh. My lady, you've been through such an ordeal. But what better to help you through these troubled times than to come to, yes, our wonderful bur burlesque show at the Kissed Coin. Bam. I am owed a lady's night. Kind of glare at Lord Antius. <laughs> <laughs> Just, we are have, available for hen parties. I'll have you using this dungeon again in no time. I'll be into you or you. Um. <laughs> um. You could ask Doroth Cormier what's his. Doth Crow or. <laughs> start fanning herself. I'll start resuscitating the man of the house. <laughs> My charms work on him more. Sometimes. Kind of. <laughs> Wake up briefly and yell, A lich! And then pass out again. I show him my card. You can't keep it. <laughs> Wake up, damn you! <laughs> anyway. We worked up with our pitch. <laughs> Perks for, for a gentleman's night out. God, God damn it. <laughs> he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Um, so yeah, the Lady Antios will, will take your card and yeah, study it and ask that, that you indeed offer these services and say that she's heard some terrible things happening in the city lately. Uh, some sort of mind flare changeling at their favorite boutique. Um, something about kobolds. Um, uh, embassies on fire. Whole city's gone to shit. What is this, Luskin? Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we heard about the embassy blowing up. That wasn't our fault. <laughs> oh, dip. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, if, yep. We are outclassed. If you guys know anything about how to stop apocalypses, we've got a case for you. <laughs> Just saying. All right, well, he saw our card. You saw our card. Let's see. Lady Antios. You kind of, like, you know, you're here in your mansion. You're kind of tucked away. Listen. You and a couple of your moneyed girlfriends come out. Listen, we can show you a good time. Down in the D ward, are you kidding me? You're going to feel so scandalized. You're already going to start an exciting night. Ask the Beckys. They'll tell you. Oh, the Beckys? Absolutely. Close personal friends. <laughs> Somehow I knew. <laughs> but anyway, absolutely a great time. Nothing has to have a. If you pay extra for the stage show, nothing happens. You're not okay with. We all kind of work it out. Before. Anyway, so great. Good to see you guys. Nice to meet you guys. We can just kind of stand by the exit until you guys finish whatever you're doing. Seriously, if you guys are good at stopping apocalypses, we do maybe have one. Okay, great. Great, great, great. We have a doom this has been great. Also, multiple liches know our name. Uh, <laughs> be anti. Let's just stand out here. Yeah. Like the stairwell. Tarbeck will wave. Just stand by the door. Yeah. <laughs> Ak yeah. Am I right with this guy? Ak yeah. Ak yeah. Ak yeah. Um, task force unlikely. What would you like to do? We're 
going to go find that Doth guy who sent us up there in the first place? Okay. Are we doing that? Yeah. Uh, Nevira will, like, first she's incredibly... Noble people out of their own dungeon, at least up <laughs> to the study. She can leave and Lady Ka and Gale to do that. She is so frustrated with these people being incompetent, pretty idiots that she's just angrily stomping up the stairs to dramatically grab her cloak and find this dude. Okay, yeah. So, so you, you drop off the, the, the Antios in their study. Uh, Lady Antios has to drag Lord Antios upstairs. Um... <laughs> I'm used to it. On her minus one strength mod help, we're still dragging him. Yep. I'll guide her. Thunk. Every couple of steps. This is why I always wear flats. Thunk. I'm helping. <laughs> Smart. Um, yeah, and... and it's Lord Antios is wearing the heels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn him. Yes. <laughs> Gotta show them calves. Um, yeah, everyone likes a slender ankle. I don't know. Uh, and the Vera stomps... <laughs> stomps back in <laughs> to the 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 main party area where the party has just continued as if nothing occurred uh and uh you quickly scan the room and you can see uh the noble who led you upstairs is leaning over a planter and throwing up oh let's go make his night worse <laughs> oh I severe will like grin at that <laughs> oh, hold on i don't I didn't get a bad read from that guy. It's possible he was duped or drunk or used. I mean, that was a world-class lich, right? So, like, it's possible he wasn't all about his senses. I already have a little bit of an in with them. I'd hate to burn that bridge, but I can... I mean, you guys can strong armor as much as you want, but I, I can apply a different tactic if you don't need to be confused with the murder of a noble. I mean, I, whatever you guys are in. <laughs> Nevera will, like, huff. Fine. <laughs> God, why'd you have to bring empathy into this? I, it, it's it's most of my bag. It's half of my character class. <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll just kind of, like, just Oh, oh no, Shug! What's the matter? I'll start rubbing his back. Oh, <laughs> kind of turns to you when he's all sick stained, and his mask <laughs> is a mess, and his he's tried to pull his hair back as best he can, but it it didn't do well. Oh, <laughs> There's Lord, like leaves and stuff now. in it, and he says, oh, "My dear sweet dance lap, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. She dominated me." Oh no. Doth, absolutely. I'll kind of like look back at the group and be like. <laughs> oh no. It it happens. It's a magical world. I don't know any myself, but absolutely. I've heard this kind of thing for sure. You are. It just. You just understand me. Yes. No. You are innocent as the drops of sunlight on peaches, I want to say. So just. <laughs> I knew you'd <laughs> understand. You absolutely bet. I hope I can still drop your name. With moneyed parties. Okay, so, but yeah, no, the important thing is that the, I keep forgetting their name for no reason, Antioses are safe. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, they, they made it. Uh, the, the bad woman is gone now. Terrible. Oh. <laughs> yes, no, I, oh, okay. <laughs> I reflexively take my hands off in the no help. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, no, for sure, but I, I felt personally afeared and put in danger so I, I i do hope that you can make this up to me <laughs> um so but I, listen i will report your innocence to this and i, I was just gonna once he's done heaving enough that i can kind of point his head toward the tiefling gundam just be like I, w I will report your innocence to this fine young woman over here and I hope you appreciate what a favor that is. So, okay. So, good. We're going to leave you t t to here. Can I call you a carriage? Or are you... Oh, 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 yes, please. Oh, oh. Yes, you betcha. You betcha I will. All right. 
All right. Um, and if you can just tell your friends about the kiss coin, I'll show you the card. I don't have one to give. There we go. Okay. There we <laughs> you'll go. Kinda, you'll kind of grab at your hands and they're all grimy and sweaty and gross. And <laughs> Okay. I invoke duplicity for the second time today to make him think he's holding. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That my dupe will rub your back, which you can't feel, but it's going to hopefully make you feel not alone. I will walk back to the rest of <clears throat> rest of everybody. Okay. Yeah, he's innocent. He was dominated. So mm -hmm. he... I mean, he's responsible, but he's not responsible. As someone who kind of has more than a few charm spells, I can speak to it. It's not his fault. He seemed up and up until he was sent to fetch us. Apparently that lady had a personal grudge with both of us, which respect. I mean, good for you guys about fucking with Tiamat. Yes. Yeah. That was a thing. You yep. fixed it, sort of. Okay. Reply, Hazy. You've got undead wizards after you, but so do we, so no judgment. I can't I flip out a card and be like, if you need help with that, you can call us. Okay, okay. <laughs> we have at least two things we can call you for. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of like sort through pockets and stuff for a bit and just pull out a bag of like 50 gold and give it to Dance Lap for an adventure well done. <laughs> uh, that... Thank you. Praise Coralon. Yo, Joaquin, we made it. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. And um, maybe Auntie, hey, this adventuring thing is actually pretty profitable. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, I know. I want to go get a drink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and. Yes. Uh, Tarbeck seems to be coming back to his senses a bit uh, as <laughs> as the party and the fight have sobered him slightly, uh, so he'll be back to normal <laughs> next time. Um, but the um, uh, the the wizard in the big blue hat from earlier <laughs> um, walks by uh, Doth Cormier or Cromor. Uh, vomiting Cromor. and he just kind of points at him and he's like <laughs> new money <laughs> <laughs> who's noble <Wow>. is this <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Uh, can I uh, sorry before episode end can I uh, mm -hmm. kind of hustle up I want to remind my uh, bartender that I, there are opportunities a more steady gig and uh, grab Gail real quick. Hmm? What's uh, up? Oh, hey. Hey, remember, call me. So, um, listen, um, I get it. She's, uh, she's big and strong, and there's a lot there to like. Just, um, I don't know, I kind of get the feeling it's going to take her a while to kind of warm up troubled past and stuff. So, like, uh, I don't know how to say don't be so thirsty, but, like, just kind of, like, slow play it. Like, just be there, you know? I think you got a real shot. Cool. And you don't have to know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying to the air, you, me, and the bartender here, seriously, call so uh, you know, just just from an outsider's perspective, from a pro. Yeah, because I can see that's totally working out for you and the Sneak Man. It's professional. At that moment, Viantio will come up and tap Dance Slap on the shoulder and kind of usher her away, and then I gotta be go. like. Uh, hey, 
dance lap? Yeah. I'm ready to make my Bianchi decision. Oh, cool, cool, cool. What do can you got to do? Can we like go and have like a like a private dance somewhere? I just I I want to dance with my best friend, but not have it be a performance. That costs twenty gold. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Um. Yeah, that's gonna take some uh, some doing, but yeah, I can do that. I'm stuck. <laughs> just pretend I'm not. There we go. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Let's. Yeah, is this lady in red. I love this song. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, so Dance Lab and Vianti leave the party. Uh, task Force Unlikely, what would you like to do to end this episode? Namir's just like, she doesn't exactly know what she said, but she knows that Gail just made a diss, so she's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll forget it, then Gail will sucker punch me with her words. <laughs> <laughs> Picks up knows exactly what they both said and is just like <laughs> um, uh, anything else okay uh, outros and plugs Marty oh shoot I'm not used to going first uh, first off ship recognize ship alright uh, second drag is hard this is uncomfortable in all kinds of ways. Um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, Chag Sameak, everyone, Yom Kippur. Sorry, Daniel, you couldn't make it. It's for a good cause. Enjoy one of the higher holy days. Everybody out there. Mostly Jewish everybody's, but you get the idea. Uh, Liz. I am Liz. Ship also recognizes ship. I'm around here a lot, so you can see me here. <laughs> uh, Cece. Why, yes, it was me, Cece. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Shock <Shut> it! <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> Mind blown! <laughs> You can find me here also, but also on Twitter and Instagram at Supsica. I do artwork. Check it out. Including this overlay. Hint, yes. hint, nudge, nudge. Also, you should go and check out the Sassy and Classy episode that we did as a secret episode, and I really like the overlay for that one. As a prequel, it involves my favorite piece of art that Soup has ever done. Oh, I included For that personal reasons. Too. Yeah, not her best work necessarily, just my personal reasons. <laughs> uh and also it marty says it's a top 10 D, D moment in there <laughs> you gotta watch to figure out what it is yep uh jay hi i'm jay you can also find me here oddly enough and also on twitter um i will occasionally post my own artwork once every like two weeks when i can make it to the shop and mira Mira. Mira, your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Mira. Frame by frame okay. by frame right go. now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Catch uh, up, maybe not. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we can hear you. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Um, that has happened. Not again. All right. Well, apparently, if you guys can still hear me, I'm just going to make my outro like this. Uh, hey, I'm Mira. Uh, I'm assuming that I am. But I guess right now, I don't know. Uh, if you want to see some cool art. On Instagram and Twitter, can't guarantee there's going to be anything new there anytime soon. But, you know. It was birds and nerds in case that got cut out. She said birds and nerds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and... Also, lightning fast 11. 
Mm-hmm. He's on Horrible, Horrible Barovia Horrible Times. Horrible Barovia Times. Yep. Horrible Barovia Times, which is every other week. I want to say I don't know if it's on or off this week. I think Sundays. Am I right? Sundays. I think. So, I think. Yeah. Yep. Here with us normally. Um, For sure. And I think those are the only two he's got <laughs> right now. Um, it starts with that number, which will be soon. Monday. Andrew? Yes, Monday. Monday. This upcoming Monday. Yes. Um, I'm Andy Hatton. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, at Andy Hatton. Uh, on Instagram, at God of Roads. Uh, next week is <laughs> um, Phantom Horizons and Star Chasers. Uh, come check it out. Pew, pew, pew. Thank you, Task Force Unlikely, and thank you, Sassy and Classy. Next week is Space Week, apparently. <laughs> yes, yep. I like when I always like when that works out. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night, everybody. I forgot to say my thing. There we go. Bye.